In the realm of twin flames, a profound connection births the roles of the runner and the chaser. This mysterious concept, rooted in spiritual and metaphysical traditions, is awash with complexities, dynamics, and unspoken rules that govern the interplay between the two entities. The twin flame connection is not merely a romantic linkage, it goes far beyond the realm of conventional relationships, often characterized by an intensity that shakes our very core. This intense bond, however, can sometimes cause one partner, the runner, to withdraw, evade, or even flee. What triggers the runner to retreat from such an intense connection? There are several theories. Firstly, there's the element of fear. The depth of this connection, strength of the bond, and the all-consuming emotions can be overwhelming for the runner. The sheer magnitude of feelings might confound and intimidate them, making retreat seem like the only logical course of action. This fear is often intermingled with a deep sense of vulnerability, the fear of losing oneself in the connection's vast expanse. Secondly, the connection often brings unresolved personal issues to the surface. The intensity of the twin flame bond is akin to a spotlight, illuminating areas in our lives needing growth or healing. In some cases, it can force us to confront aspects about ourselves that we'd rather ignore or suppress. This confrontation with our own weaknesses and insecurities can lead to avoidance, making the runner distance themselves to evade the harsh gaze of self-realization. Thirdly, the runner may be dodging confrontation with deep-seated traumas. Their past might host a labyrinth of painful memories, unresolved conflicts, or buried emotions, and the mere presence of the chaser can trigger these memories. This can push the runner away, making them seek solace in solitude, away from the raw intensity of the twin flame bond. Lastly, it could be a simple act of self-preservation. The runner, not wishing to expose their raw emotions or open themselves to potential heartache, may choose to withdraw. This retreat can be a defense mechanism, a shield erected to protect their emotional well-being. Understanding these reasons can be a cornerstone to navigating the twin flame journey, a path laden with trials, tribulations, and soulful growth. It requires copious amounts of patience, open communication, a willingness to confront our deepest fears and insecurities. It's about navigating the complexities of this spiritual journey, seeking answers and ultimately evolving. Remember, this journey is not just about the reunion of two souls, but also about self-discovery and healing. Let's delve deeper into the journey from runner to union. The runner's actions are not about rejection, but protection. It's essential to remember that the runner is not running from the chaser but from their own fears and insecurities. They are in a whirlwind of emotions, caught between their fears and the undeniable pull of the powerful connection they share with their twin flame. They are in a constant battle within themselves, trying to reconcile their feelings and the intensity of the twin flame connection. This internal struggle often manifests itself as a need for space, a desire to retreat and regroup, to face their fears and insecurities alone. This is not a simple process, but rather a complex interplay of emotions and self-discovery. The journey from runner to union can be long and but incredibly transformative for both the runner and the chaser. The runner is on a journey of self-discovery, trying to understand themselves, their emotions, their fears and their insecurities. It's a path that requires courage, patience and a lot of self-reflection. This journey also requires patience, understanding, and unconditional love from the chaser. The chaser must learn to give the runner the space they need to face their fears and insecurities. This can be challenging. It's hard to watch someone you love struggle and not be able to help them. But it's important to remember that this is a necessary process for the runner. They need to confront their issues head on and work through them at their own pace. Meanwhile, the runner must confront their issues and allow themselves to embrace the deep connection they share with their twin flame. They need to face their fears, to delve into insecurities and to confront their emotions. This is not an easy task. It requires them to look deep within themselves and confront parts of their identity that they may have hidden or ignored. The process may seem slow and there might be times when it feels like the runner is pulling further away. However, it's important to remember that every step back is a step closer to the runner facing their fears and moving towards union. The journey of understanding 
is a process of self-discovery and healing for both runner and the chaser. It's a journey that requires them to strip away their insecurities and fears and embrace their true selves. And so, next time your twin flame runs, remember it's not about you, it's about their journey towards self-love and acceptance. This journey is about becoming the best version of themselves, about embracing every facet of their identity, and about finding the courage to face their fears head on. So remember, it's not about you. It's about their journey towards self-love and acceptance. In the world of twin flames, patience and understanding are not just virtues, but lifelines. This enduring philosophy underpins the voyage the runner and the chaser embark on together united in their shared divinity and yet divided by their personal insecurities and fears. As we've delved into earlier, the journey from the runner to union is a process that is riddled with complexities. It's a path laden with emotional trauma and a profound exploration into the self. But the question remains, how does this affect you as the chaser? How can you pilot this journey while preserving your own serenity and peace of mind? Firstly and foremostly, it's crucial to bear in mind that when it comes to the runner's confrontation with their own fears, you cannot play the role of the enforced catalyst. This is a personal journey they must embark on. It's a road they must travel alone, confronting their demons and coming face to face with their own vulnerabilities. Your role as the chaser is to provide an environment of safety, a haven for them to explore their emotions without the fear of judgment or rejection. You can accomplish this by continually practicing empathy, understanding, and by fostering an environment of acceptance. Remember, their actions are not a reflection of you or your worth, but a mirror that reflects their own internal struggle, their own battle with their fears. Secondly, it's imperative to understand that patience is the key to navigating the tumultuous waters of this journey. It's easy to succumb to frustration and hurt when the runner distances themselves, but try to see this from a broader perspective. Every step back is a step closer to self-discovery and healing. Instead of fixating on the growing distance, shift your focus to the growth. Celebrate their progress, no matter how minuscule or insignificant it may seem. In all of this, remember to prioritize your own growth and self-discovery. Just as the runner has their journey, so do you. Use this time as an opportunity to delve into your own fears, insecurities, and vulnerabilities. Discover ways to love and accept yourself independent of your twin flame. You are not defined by their journey, but by your own. The journey from runner to union is not just about the runner. It's about both of you growing, evolving, and shedding old layers of yourselves. It's about both of you emerging from your cocoons as radiant, self-aware beings ready to unite in a bond that transcends the physical. The path may be long and winding, filled with challenges and obstacles, but rest assured the destination, the union, is worth every moment, every tear shed, and every fear confronted. Let's shift our focus for a brief period and concentrate our attention on you, the dedicated chaser. We've spent considerable time discussing the significance of patience and empathy. But what about the individual journey of self-love? Yes, you heard it correctly, and it's essential to pay heed. Self-love is an indispensable component in the multifaceted journey of twin flames. It is the potent source of energy that keeps you, keeps you moving forward when the path ahead seems dauntingly challenging. It is the foundation stone upon which the entire structure of the twin flame journey rests. How can you foster and nurture this self-love? Begin by recognizing and validating your emotions. It's not only okay, but completely normal to feel hurt, to be enveloped in confusion. It's perfectly fine to experience frustration. Your emotions are valid. They are a reflection of your journey. And it's crucial to let yourself feel them, to let them guide you. In this of self-love, your emotions are your compass. They point you towards growth and understanding. Next, invest time in self-care, which is a vital part of your self-love journey. This could translate into a multitude of things depending on what resonates with you. It can be as simple and soothing as immersing yourself in a warm, relaxing bath, or as invigorating as spending quality time amidst the serene beauty of nature. It could be indulging in a hobby that you love, something that reignites the spark within you. 
The crux of this step is to engage in an activity that brings you happiness, that brings a smile to your face and helps you reconnect with your inner self. Moreover, it's important to remember to reward yourself for your progress. Each you take towards self-love, no matter how seemingly insignificant, is a triumph, a victory in its own right. Celebrate it. Make it a point to acknowledge your growth, the spectacular journey you've embarked upon. No achievement is too small, no progress insignificant. Every step is a milestone that deserves recognition. The twin flame journey isn't solely about the runner, it is equally about you. Your growth, your healing, your journey, your transformation is as important as the final destination. It is a journey of, of understanding and of love. This journey is your personal odyssey, your spiritual voyage. This is your time, a time to learn, to grow, a time to love and care for yourself. It's time to let your light shine, to let your love flow, because at the end of the day, you too are worth it. You are deserving of the love and care that you give so freely to others. It's time to turn that love inwards, towards yourself. This is your journey and you too are worth every bit of it. Moving on from the power of self-love, let's delve deeper into the next stage of your journey. Scene five aims to help you embrace the process of self-discovery with open arms. Yes, your twin flame journey certainly revolves around union, but it's about so much more than that. It's about a profound exploration of your innermost self. Your twin flame is your mirror, reflecting back to you not just your strengths, but also your areas for growth, your dormant potential waiting to be unleashed. This reflection can be challenging to accept, undoubtedly. It can be uncomfortable to confront the parts of yourself that you typically avoid, those hidden corners of your personality that may need a little work. But remember, it's not a criticism or judgment. It's an opportunity for profound self-discovery and growth. As you navigate this journey, remember to stay open and receptive. Don't close yourself off to new or let fear hold you back. Explore your interests voraciously. Try new things, even if they scare you. Push your boundaries and step outside your comfort zone. The world is full of opportunities for you to learn, grow and evolve. You might be surprised by what you find when you allow yourself to embrace the unknown. Not only is it crucial to keep a journal, during this phase, but it is also essential to approach it with a sense of curiosity. Write down your feelings, your thoughts, your dreams, your fears. This will help you understand yourself better, identify patterns that might be holding you back, and provide a roadmap to your inner world. It will give you insight into your emotions and responses and allow you to make more conscious choices about how you want to grow. Remember, self-discovery isn't a destination, it's a journey. It's not about reaching a specific point, but about peeling back the layers of who you are, one layer at a time. It's about exploring the depths of your being, understanding what makes you tick, what fills you with joy, what challenges you, and what helps you grow. And it's about using this knowledge to become the best version of yourself, not just for your twin flame, but for you. So, as you continue on your twin flame journey, embrace the process of self-discovery. Be patient with yourself, be kind to yourself. It's a beautiful, transformative process that will help you grow in ways you never imagined. It's about learning, evolving and transforming to become the best version of yourself. And remember, this journey is not about becoming someone else. It's about becoming more of who you truly are. And who knows, you might just find that the person you were searching for was inside you all along. Having journeyed through self-love and self-discovery, we now transition to scene six where we focus on embracing transformation and growth. This voyage into the realm of change is a significant chapter in our continuing saga. As you delve deeper into the twin flame journey, you'll notice various shifts and changes. These subtle shifts, which might alter your perspective, emotions, and overall outlook on life, are the tangible proof of your transformation. Each change, no matter how minor, is a testament to your ability to adapt and grow. This transformation, which we weave into the very fabric of your twin flame journey, is a multifaceted process. It's a metamorphosis of the self, an evolution into something greater. However, undergoing this transformation could at times be uncomfortable. It might be challenging. It might be painful. Yet, it is also cathartic. Remember, the most significant growth often stems from discomfort. Adversity is the crucible in which our character is tested and sculpted. 
It's in the moments of uncertainty, in the throes of change, that we genuinely evolve, shedding away the old and emerging anew. Facing transformations might require profound strength and resilience. It's crucial to practice patience, to be forgiving with yourself. Change is never easy, and growth is a process. It unfolds gradually, step by step, day by day. It doesn't happen overnight. You might stumble during this journey, you might fall, but what matters most is not the fall, but the rise. The strength to dust yourself off and keep moving forward, that's the essence of growth. Remember, your twin flame journey isn't just about seeking your other half, it's about self-improvement, self-enhancement. It's about growing, evolving, and metamorphosing into the person you were always destined to be. It's about embracing change and making peace with it. So as we continue this journey, let's welcome transformation and growth arm in arm. Let's embrace the change. Let's invite it in, make it a part of ourselves, and learn from it. Because only through this change, through this journey of transformation, do we genuinely get to find ourselves. We discover our strengths, acknowledge our weaknesses, and learn to balance both. And it's in this state of self-discovery and self-awareness that we ultimately find our twin flame. So as we move forward in this journey, let's embrace transformation and growth. Let's embrace the change because it's through this change that we truly find ourselves and ultimately our twin flame. As we transition from scene six and all the growth and transformation it entails, we find ourselves at a new junction. It is now scene seven, the journey towards reunion, the final stretch. An entirely new phase, it is filled with unlimited potential opportunities and revelations. Growth and transformation have been the stepping stones, the crux that instigated your progression forward. They've been the main catalyst, the driving forces that have moved you closer towards uniting with your twin flame, that celestial divine counterpart. This part of your journey, this ethereal stretch, is so much more than just a road. It's a testament to your progress. Now, more than ever, you're in tune with your inner self, that quiet voice within you that whispers wisdom and guidance. You've evolved, changed, and transformed into a stronger version of yourself, a version that's resilient, tenacious, and unwavering. This is the version of you that has been weathered through the storms, the version that's equipped and ready to face the challenges of reunion. However, it's crucial to remember and understand that reunion isn't just about reuniting with your twin flame, it's a lot more. It's about coming together with yourself, your true authentic self. It's about accepting all parts of you, embracing your flaws, your quirks, your strengths, and your weaknesses. We embark on this final stretch. It becomes more important than ever to maintain a balance. Balance, that elusive concept, is the key here. A delicate equilibrium between holding on and letting go, between being proactive and being passive, between doing and simply existing. This balance isn't just important, it's essential. It's the pivot on which your journey will continue to oscillate. It's a delicate dance, a dance that demands precision, patience, and persistence. It's this dance that ultimately guides you lead you and escort you towards your twin flame reunion. So, as we forge ahead, remember to breathe. Remember to have faith in the journey and the process. Remember to trust in yourself. Recollect how far you've come. Look back at your journey, your growth, your transformation. And now it's time to reunite. Not just with your twin flame, the other half of your soul, but with your true authentic self. The self that's been through trials and tribulations, that's grown and transformed, that's ready for this final stretch. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into this riveting, transformational final stretch of your twin flame journey in scene seven. Welcome to scene eight, the dance of balance. It's crucial to realize that this expedition isn't a quick dash, but a long enduring race. It's a dance of life where the rhythm is dynamic, the steps are constantly evolving, and the melody might change, yet the dance proceeds. This journey is about maintaining a delicate equilibrium, a harmony between holding on and letting go, between stillness and movement, between your twin flame and you. This is the dance of balance, a dance of life and love, of growth and understanding. As we continue our journey, I invite you to reflect. Are you the one the dance or are you following? Are you setting the rhythm or are you letting the music guide your steps? These questions aren't posed to add complexity or confusion to your path, but rather to foster a deeper awareness of your journey, your dance. There's an inherent beauty in this. 
Remember, in this dance, there are no missteps, only lessons to be learned, experiences to be savored. In this dance of life, there's no need for haste. There's no urgency to force the steps or rush the rhythm. Simply allow yourself to flow with the cadence of your journey. Give yourself the freedom to move with elegance and tranquility, knowing that each step you take, every move you make is drawing you nearer to your reunion, to your destiny. Your twin flame journey is distinctly yours. It's your dance, it's your unique rhythm, your signature steps, it's your narrative, your story, your journey. It's a testament to your strength and your endurance, to your resilience and your passion. As we move forward into this dance of balance, remember to have faith in the flow of life. Trust in the unfolding of your journey. Trust in your inner wisdom, in your intuition. You've ventured this far, a testament to your courage, and there's no turning back now. No retreat, no surrender. So take a deep breath, a moment to find your equilibrium, your center. Allow yourself a moment of stillness before we continue this dance together. Trust in your strength, trust in your journey, trust in the dance. Stay tuned for scene nine, where we will wrap up our journey and look back on the road traveled thus far. <laughs>